ध्यस्थानेध्यस्थानेध्यस्थानेध्यस्थानेध्यस्थानेध्यस्थानेध्यस्थानेध्यस्थानेध्यस्थानेध्यस्थानेध्यस्थानेध्यस्थानेध्य
a number of items inside. The problem with this glove box here on the bylaw is that it is rather small. Mm -hmm. So to work in, it is very constraining. You can't put a lot of material inside. Mm -hmm. You have to go in and out and do backwards and forwards, which costs time that we, we try to, to not spend. Uh, and then we have the European draw rack right there, which is essentially a rack that distributes resources to experiments. So resources means uh, power, cooling, data connectivities, uh, connectivities to vacuum. Uh, and you can, you can put smaller dedicated experiment units in, which makes for a more flexible use of the rack. Uh, the, the concept is so successful that ESA has actually built a second European draw rack that is uh, currently uh, in the process of being shipped to Japan for launch on the Japanese um, cargo carrier HT. So when we do training, we essentially put the astronaut into the module. We're not training each and every activity the astronaut does in orbit. That would take far too long. What we instead do is we have looked at all the potential activities that can come up, and we have analyzed with the, with the instructor team the skills that are required to perform those activities. So for instance, if you have to take such a rack out, there is uh, connections at the bottom. They are standardized, so we train using those connections once and once for all of space station. Not only once for ESA, where we've actually harmonized this whole thing across the space station. When we started out, the training for an astronaut was three and a half, four years. Uh, we're now down to two years in the mission preparation phase by making sure we're not duplicating things. Mm -hmm. And once we know the skills, we build our training program such that we're covering each skill and then we put it in the end together to have simulations with the astronauts where we, where we let them do activities on their own to see if they master the skills. And that's essentially where we see that uh, the training program was successful. What we do have in, in, in difference to schools or universities is, is one big thing. If uh, you've been to school and, and, and university, so you know it, uh, if you fail a test, whose fault is it? It's your fault. If you're an astronaut and you fail a test, it's our fault. Because the astronauts are getting such a tremendous amount of information for their mission that it's, it's our duty to break it down to the minimum, minimum that they need to know and to package it such that it sticks. So if, if it doesn't stick, then my team has made a mistake. We have, to, we have to make sure that it sticks. And the good thing, of course, is even if they've memorized it by the time they're done with their training here, it may still be a long time before they use it on orbit. physical training of the astronaut and Laura, my colleague uh, from uh, the Space Medicine Office, the exercise team will come to that in a minute. You will even visit our Cosmos gym, uh, which is, uh, actually may look like an ordinary fitness room, but it's, it has some specialities and is dedicated to astronaut fitness. So this is what was hosted in this note. You may take a closer look at what the crew quarter actually is. It's the side, uh, the side of the phone booth. You may even step in and then get a feeling for how much privacy you have on, uh, on the station. <laughs> uh, 
So not much. And then not much. <laughs> okay. So would you think that that you are that you Close are alone down. in Close that it. booth? Uh, and if yes, uh, yes, you are alone in that booth. But but here's the next booth. Right. Here's another one, and here would be one as well. But we need to put our feet yeah. somewhere. Yes, yeah, four. So you have enough prizes there. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> bigger than my house. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. And then, again, the, you see that there is Velcro everywhere. So, uh, they can stick their iPads. Uh, there's room for, for and connectors for a laptop. Uh, and you can put photos. So you, so, you can every, I mean, after you, it's, it's empty like that when, when you arrive as an astronaut. Yeah. Then, yeah, you can make it a bit more cozy. And when you leave, you have to pull all your photos away. And the next one, um, uh, yeah, what's actually well, not really different. Usually, I mean, it's where they sleep, right? Or if, if they want to have some some, some privacy, um, you might know that um, there is quite um, in terms of communication. So, in flights, calls, let's say media events and stuff like like that, we do that uh, via professional equipment and also via standard uh, downlink, which is the VK, KU band downlink, but from there, with their iPads, oh. there is IP phone functionality, and they can oh, talk to family and friends, but unfortunately not to journalists, because that would be just, I mean, they, this is really for, for their for, private for time. Their yeah. yeah, and for, for the press conferences, news conferences, and, and whatever, we uh, have uh, the, to use the, the official facility. अभ्यवकाश <laughs> <laughs> uh, in, in shape, and, and Sunday is really, is it, is it, um, I think half of them, uh, that's uh, Samantha, that's Matthias, uh, and Alexander, they are scientists by training, where Samantha has like four or five degrees, so, she, so she's everything, engineer, scientist, pilot, uh, <laughs> she's fine. Uh, uh, yes, she is, <laughs> and uh, others would be, would be engineers, Tomar, for example, is an engineer, uh, Annie Mokinson, she is an, he's an engineer as well, and there Luca? are physicians, right? We have not, no not, physics. not at the we moment. Have no but physicists. Yeah, but no, 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 sorry, physicians like um, the doctors. Um, you mean medical or yes. physicists? Oh, uh, um, I'm sorry, 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 I'm sor